guys welcome back to my channel today we have we have an interesting topic that we're going to talk about so yeah we're going to talk about dating in mauritius and i'm going to be joined by my friend you're going to see him soon so stick around and let's do this Hi guys, I'm Timothy. Um, I'm a friend to Vivian and uh, I'm looking forward to this discussion. So, uh, are you looking forward to this, this it's discussion? It's an interesting discussion. Relationships are interesting discussions. Ah, so you have a lot of experience. No. Eh? You're going to tell us <laughs> all the juicy case. details. Okay, so where do we, start, do we start from? Have you ever dated in Mauritius? I think that is a, a fair Start. Um, no, I haven't been to the Mauritius. However, mm -hmm. I've tried to talk to people. Talk to people. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's 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 a really complicated uh, country. Right. It comes to because of so many different factors. Okay. So I'll start. I'll start with uh, one. We speak different languages. Our culture is a bit different. Um, here they have a bit of, you know, they are close to the European culture. Okay, 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 okay. So wait, 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 it's, wait. It's, wait. It's, it's, so it's, it's a mixture of things. Before we get deep into it, I, would, I just want to know whether you've dated here before or not. Mm -hmm. And then we can, you know, unravel the, the whole discussion. I have tried. You have tried. Okay. Later on, you're going to tell me why it didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'm not going to talk about me because I have you here. You why? To, why? why? I, 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 feel, I feel like I'm giving you the. Traffic. I feel like I'm giving you the platform for you to talk. No, this okay. is a two-way When traffic. it comes to me, guys out there, I want to know <laughs> your experience as well. Well, when it comes to me, I've, I've I have dated in Mauritius. I I may have a, a quite different you know experience. Okay. A, a, a different story apart from. You know the things that you know about me already <laughs> i have a different story and a different outlook on how dating in mauritius is it's not you have, it. you have a wealth of experience huh? <laughs> okay if you want to say so <laughs> if you want to say so <laughs> so it, it's more like if if dating was uh, a business yeah. you'd be a loaded lady right now i've been around <laughs> Been around. <laughs> okay. Please do, do not open my Pandora <laughs> box right now. <laughs> Let okay. me leave it at that. Mm, leave it at that. Okay. So, when it comes to dating in Mauritius, do you think it's hard on the on the hard side, or it's easier to you know maneuver? Um. Well, me my uh, my approach to dating is usually I try to get to know people before I actually try to ask them out. Like, uh, I have be your friend. Get to know you as a person. And then. So, in that way, uh -huh. getting to know people in Mauritius is not as straightforward as I think. So, first of all, they are kind of reserved in their own no, but, they're, they're like in their own world. But do you think do you think you've given yourself a chance, or you've given them a chance to be to, for to approach you or for you? No, I, I would say I've uh, I've made a few friends. Okay. And um, for some reason it didn't work out in terms of uh, proceeding to the next level. Okay. Yeah, so I let it be as just friendships. Well, my pastor says that marry your friend if you marry your friend life is easy true so in those friends that is, you have a, maybe is there is a, possible, is a there is someone there you should reevaluate these friendships <laughs> move someone from the friend zone yeah. sister zone 
to somewhere. <laughs> Someone said uh, you, you move them from the left to the right. Swipe, 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 swipe. <laughs> okay. Anyway, for me, uh, I would say in the beginning it was hard. I was not looking forward to to it actually. I was not I was not looking forward to dating in Mauritius. I, I I the first time I came to Mauritius I was pretty young and I had a high school sweetheart per se. So I wasn't really looking forward to dating at all at all. I was not looking forward to dating at all. Yeah. But when I you know, got around new people, started to talk, started talking to people, and you know, got friends. I realize it's easy. However, there are different perceptions. Like we have, we have, we have, we come from a predominantly African kind of tradition setting, True. and here it's different. So that's uh, that's where it gets challenging. It's more like a mixture. Of different, yes. yeah. uh, that's how it gets challenging. But yeah. I've been around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so let's wrap up the first the first point. So to wrap it all, you think uh, Mauritius, dating in Mauritius is on the hard, more on the harder side than the easy side for you? It, it's it's not straightforward as it is back at home. Okay. Because uh, you, you basically have to understand okay. uh, their culture. You have to understand that their approach to dating. Mm -hmm. As compared to what we have in Uganda, so right. it's, it's not straightforward. Okay. So it's about getting to learn culture, getting to learn the people, what they take dating as. Okay. What, you know? So it's it depends really on. Give me an example of a pattern. Okay. As in the way uh, I understand it, as in. You know the stages of dating i feel like that is it i don't know i don't know how to have uh, the stages or what people expect when you know they approach you like as an african lady um i expect someone to pursue me and take me out on a no more date let's get to know each other let's talk and before anything gets sealed up i need to understand i need to know you for who you are and all that but in Mauritius, hmm, someone will <laughs> ask you out today, hmm? okay. today, and tomorrow, they put you. <laughs> okay, so, so the patterns here are... Uh, it's more like it, if, it's, you, if you're open-minded and, and you're, in, you're down uh, for so, it. So it's, it's more about... That is being open-minded open yeah if you're open-minded yeah I, I feel like it's, it's, it's not it's not good for it's not easy for people who are very conservative and they have they have a certain way they do things which I've, I've learned you know along the way but still I am not that open <laughs> I am not that open I cannot meet you today and the following day I'm like let's go <laughs> I can't do that. Yeah, but uh, I think it's true when it comes to being open-minded. You know, for us in Africa, there are certain things that we we we, we still we are still close-minded about in terms of. Uh, uh, but in terms of it, mm -hmm. here it's it's quite different. Mm -hmm. There are certain topics that I don't want to touch into because they are sensitive. Okay. Yes, you are sensitive, mm. so I, I need to leave certain topics. Yes, but, uh, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but most most people here are a bit open minded. Okay. Uh, they are more into move fast. Yes, fast. let's let's just hmm? move this fast. Let's not waste time. Let's mm. go. Huh? <laughs> so even the ladies, at least some you might not actually be that. But um, when they get to know you're African, they think uh, they're they're down for stuff. Yes. But do you so wait, wait, wait? I, I don't know if it is a picture that we Africans paint on them, or it's uh, an expectation that they see in movies. Or uh, that's that's what I was I was about to say. Do you think now it's really changed through different like social media no. influence, all these yeah. things that we see in the movie? Uh, movies like they heighten our expectations and 
say the dating scene has really really toughened up. No, I, I feel like uh, easy come, easy go. Yeah, I don't Are you that kind of person? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> the easy come, uh, no, easy no, go. I feel like for them here, that is what it is. Easy, easy come, come, easy go. A relationship to them normally lasts that long, especially since it's not based on uh, getting to know the person deeply. Or it's, what, it's, it's like more like they just focus on physical attraction and as as, as long as that attraction is there no, no, and it's, it's fulfilled it's, it's move it's on one of those things where you, uh, did you have those things at school where you, it's, it's called what i don't know if this last but uh, it's it's like for the moment you know how you feel for the moment how the excitement, the excitement. Oh, okay, 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 okay. it's, it's like more like what infatuation exactly. ah infatuation so when you, you you just see someone you get excited oh look at that look at the way he's looking away and, and then, like, and then you they, just... they even get married it reaches that instant where you get married and, and yet it was just excitement now once you get into the marriage it's, uh, this you, so, start, this you so... start seeing the complicated this is so Aspects scary actually guys like i i did not i was not i i did not think divorce was normal until i moved to mauritius mauritius exactly. is is that kind of country where divorce is normal very very normal like exactly. to me that was like i could everyone like i would find a friend of mine we talk and she, she's like she's divorced and she's divorced at 24 years old i'm like when did you get married <laughs> when did you get married? it's more the excitement that gets with the marriage but it's not it's not that long lasting commitment through thick and thin we are going to ah so you want someone's child to be there in no, your no, thick no. thick no, no, it, thick it, it, and then it, it, the it's, it's, poverty it, it, and all these things it's it's more about being careful ah. before you actually get there you, all right. you do your homework mm -hmm. do your research and then uh, move to the next level that's why I'm saying easy come, easy go. So that is the pattern in Mauritius. At least that's the pattern that I've seen. Easy come, easy go. <laughs> All right. So, um, so I, I can't ask you about your dating experience because you said you have never dated, but at least you've gone out with people. You've talked to someone before, and how did how did you like perceive take their whole aura like? when you were on a date with this person or when you were talking mind-wise were they as you know i've been in Mauritius for i was here between 2015 and 2017 so i i got to meet people and uh, the reason why i didn't go far in the relationship with people that i met was they had that mindset of easy come easy go <laughs> they, they, they had that expectation of, uh, as we start dating we, not even actually it wasn't it wasn't more dating it was more of uh, once we start banging yeah we, we need to we need to <laughs> okay guys so since it. for him he doesn't have any dating experience is gonna be my turn to fill you in. <laughs> the business woman. It's not a business. <laughs> no, to, it, to it's me, not. It's to, not a to, business. To me, just... to me, it's like you know, building a resume. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So I'm just gonna tell you that I'm Experience is the best teacher. You know, when you go through mm. something, when when you go through something, it 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 kind of gives you. If it does well, it if it hurts. Then you learn from the heart. Some experiences are expensive. Oh, well, everything is expensive. Even feelings are expensive. Even feelings are expensive. <laughs> you think me loving someone is uh, cheap? I don't come cheap. Mm -hmm. My heart is very, very expensive. That's why. How much? Ah. Uh, 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 uh. Even the Bible so, says you have to protect your heart. Yeah, know, uh -huh. So. so Anyway, ah, well, me dating in Mauritius, I've not dated many people, many Mauritians, Mauritian men, okay? 
so when it comes to dating a Mauritian man you have to be very ready for stereotypes I feel like yeah, here it's, it's a lot of yeah, yeah sti- lot of it's, 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 it's very like very many stereotypes they believe when it comes to like the African guys the girls believe <coughs> they've got a yeah, big package yeah. and when it comes big to banana. and then when it comes to us the, the ladies these guys are, are there for, for the experience too. It's, it's more like I'm a tourist attraction to you, I'm not. So they are there to just see what is different. What is different about the Mauritian body and the African body. And I did not want to be an experiment for anyone. So that's why I've been, I've been very careful dating Mauritian guys. Yes, I've gone out on dates and I've been, I think I've been on, in a relationship for like quite a few months with someone, but it never got down to, oh, a let's experiment so i do not know about that part but yeah it was a great experience he was a great guy language barrier was one of the reasons i broke up the relationship because <laughs> we could not communicate imagine we used to communicate through an app we, we had this app he had it on his phone i had it on my phone <laughs> no we, we met through a friend a mutual friend actually and, and he would say whatever he wants to say to me in French through the app, the app translates and whatever I have to say to him, I say it through the app, it translates to French and that's how we used to. Oh, that, that must have been difficult. Huh? It was difficult, it was really, really difficult but I was, I kind of wanted to give it a shot. I kind of wanted to give it a shot. I was at, at that point in my life where I was like, okay, let me just be open-minded and go through this experience. I wanted to know really. And yeah, I, I have to say I, I pulled it, pulled it, pulled it as long as I could. Like I couldn't go longer. Couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I had to stop. But yeah, and then when it comes on the other th- the other side of dating in general in Mauritius, not about the Mauritian men alone. When it comes to our African brothers, hmm? mm-hmm. if you're dating an African mm-hmm. brother in Mauritius, <laughs> be sure to know or to put it in your head that you're not alone in that relationship <clears throat> because see guys Mauritius is a very small country and now I understand the saying sharing is scary <laughs> <laughs> because you're going to share this African brother but anyway, moving on. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to talk to talk deeply into this. So, so this is this was part of your experience too. Trust me, and it 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 is hurtful, but I have to say it. It is difficult to date in general in Mauritius because first of all, you 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 fail to get the connection with the Mauritians, the the, the men in Mauritius. But even our African men, they're here first of all to experience. They also want to see what the Mauritian girls are up to and, and if you they happen to come to you hmm, it is a small island with just what 1.3 million people what do you expect um, so w- what what would you think would be the main reason why you think African brothers share I, I think I'm, I'm not I'm not educated enough to un- to answer that question in a foreign country this person does if it, it happen were, back home? If it were, no, it doesn't happen back home. Well, in some instances it does. I, I can't but, refute that. In but some not inst- to a large extent. Not to a large extent. But here in Mauritius, you have to understand that we are, we are first, we are in a carpool. We are like, you know, the Africans. If you know someone in the circle, people get lonely. People go to house parties, get drunk. Whatever happens, happens. Yeah. So if you're cool with it, you go with it. If you're not cool. Let it go. The last time I went for a house party, I stopped at the door. Why? Uh, You're so Sodom and Gomorrah. No. <laughs> First of all, I'm not, I'm not the dancing type, so okay. I, I really don't dance. So I just stopped at the door, looked inside, saw what was happening. Uh-huh. I was like, yeah, I'll stop here. I'll just look from here. <laughs> I've been to a couple, but anyway, mm-hmm. that is not the point of this video today. <laughs> I'm not giving my myself away. Mm-mm. But also, in uh, Uganda also has house parties. Mm. But it's not the same scenery. Ah, hmm. The ones in Uganda are also wild. So, wild. So you should know. 
I've never been to one in Uganda. I'm not I'm not the party type back home. So everything that I have to that's why I have like lots of experience here because back home I yeah, well, you maybe, cannot maybe tell my is, mother you're yeah, going to a house party exactly. <laughs> for what? So, yeah, I have coffee, but here I don't have coffee. So please let me enjoy. You know, you know your mom is going to watch this, right? So I am grown, man. Huh? And I already told you, eh? Experience is the best teacher. So I now know better, mom. Huh? <laughs> ah, Alright, okay. we're gonna wrap this thing up and we're going to wrap it up with telling our Mauritian brothers and sisters what they should expect dating Africans okay. like us you know to just break that stereotype because there, there are so many stereotypes like even I as a person I've been told you know mm, mm, but I don't, I don't want to talk <laughs> what, about it what so. have you been told? No, no, Give us it's not appropriate it's, <laughs> it's not appropriate so what are the things, in your opinion, what are the things that our Mauritian brothers and sisters should know about dating um, Africans, just to break that ice? I, I, think, I think I'll speak as a guy mm -hmm. and speaking to ladies, Mauritian ladies. Mm -hmm. I think when, when, when you look at an African girl, mm -hmm. We, not all of us want to just come and hit and run. No, that that is it not. Is a uh, that that is not. That's not. Uh, so that is number one. Okay. Not all of us want to hit and run. Um, the other stereotype that we normally get is the big. Uh -huh. That might be true. Okay. Yeah. It might be true. It is not, guys. <laughs> I said it, but I don't because I don't go. I also don't looking. know. My mom is gonna watch this. I don't know too. <laughs> yeah, so that I don't know, but uh, you shouldn't date an African guy because you think you have because you had a, you know. Yeah, I, I think it's it's uh, it's, uh, it's it's a very disturbing thing. Knowing In other that words, guys, it, it's good, but it's disturbing. That someone is dating you because they think you have something. That is that see, shouldn't be the main. You see, I feel like everyone of I don't know, maybe you don't have, but everyone I feel like yeah. everyone has expectations. No, I think everyone has expectations when they're entering yeah, in the, yeah. into a relationship. So, and we cannot really judge what their expectation is. Maybe the, the other one is, is expecting that big package and I am expecting my man to take care of me. All yeah, but, but and all that. you see, at least, uh, it, it, it's not only in Mauritius. Actually, most uh, European countries think the same. Okay. Th that's true. Yeah, the very... majority, most people think that uh, African... I, I, I don't know if it's because guys watch a lot of porn where... It could be. Yeah. Uh, Never so, know. Anyway, mm -hmm. We want to be treated like any other guy. Right. Uh, you have you want someone to respect you as a human being. Treat them like a normal guy. Go out and uh, dates go out and it's not just about bums all the time. So. In other words you want true connection. Yeah, it's supposed to be a, yes, a real connection, not just uh, one night stand. And they should not look at an African guy and think he's down for that. Some other African some, some guys. Some people don't. Okay, most people don't like just yeah. that kind of connection. We need real deep connection. I need that too. <laughs> From African brothers here in Mauritius, because they don't think that way. But I'm not what going to talk about that, that today. I'm not going to talk about, about that today. When I'm not around, <laughs> perhaps when there's a notion guy on the show. Yeah, probably. Anyway, for me, personally, as a woman, I'm going to say, Mauritian guys, please, we are not tourist attractions. We are not. Please. Please have mercy. I, I know. You, you enter somewhere and they look at you like... Please have mercy, guys. I, 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 at one point I felt I felt like what uh, is it the clothes that I'm wearing? You just enter a place and all the eyes to here 
and here. I'm like, what is wrong? And then someone is like, I, I, I forgot to say this. One day I met this guy, really good gentleman driving a Porsche. And I expected something, you know, gentleman driving a Porsche. And this guy, the conversations he was talking about, he's like, yeah, I want you to tie me up, whip me. With. No, African girl, no, no, we are not that crazy people. We are not. Please treat us with we, respect. We have a <laughs> No, yeah, there we, are some we, who are, but the majority some, some of us, to some of us are not that adventurous. So we want you to take us out and just try to know us, not know our bodies, because that's what you Mauritian brothers are doing. And I want us, I, I want it to stop. I want it to stop like immediately, just I like you know. said. I want, I want to to know you for who you. I want to build, you know, kind of connections, you know, that are gonna last and. Yeah, but and, and, and we, we can't. please don't ask an African brother or an African sister to whip you. <laughs> you might not. You might because not like me, it. I, I grew up uh, beating yeah. my, my, my little sisters. I can. If you want me to give it to you, I will, but <laughs> please don't ask me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so let's conclude this video. What do you want to end with in this conversation? Um has been an interesting topic actually we could have gone further but uh, time so i'm looking forward to the next discussion uh -huh. hopefully i'll be invited so. <laughs> it depends on how you have done yeah. if, if if my if my people don't like you then they can't bring you back okay. <laughs> yeah, i'm joking i'm totally joking anyways guys it has been fun having you here thank you for tuning in and i will see you soon i hope my mauritian brothers and sisters out there have learned a few things about oh. us and they're gonna check themselves uh we're also gonna check ourselves probably maybe we all, we are also you know approaching you a, dif a different way or you want Guys, us to please comment <laughs> give your opinions about the topics that we discussed here mm -hmm. Don't hold back. Yes, if you want us to include something, please let me know. And yeah, I will see you again in another video. Goodbye. God bless.